I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Hello, my tribe. This is your girl Phyllis here. Where's your hat, Phyllis? Well, I'm inside. I'm cooking dinner. Plus, I just washed my hair today, so I figure it's okay to show you the actual top of my head. Y'all have never seen that. That's the top of my head. Anyway, oh, by the way, look at this now. I'm really not... I asked for a side shave, but I think it's a little bit much, a little too severe, but we'll just try to rock it as best we can. Anyway, I've got lots to catch you up on, even though it's only been really a few days since my last video um van aid was awesome i met some really great people you saw a lot of them in my video about van aid and then um i went to say goodbye to someone i'd been chat had chatted with a few times on my way out i was gonna go to um the hot springs nearby and he was talking to this lady and she and I really hit it off and we're actually planning a trip to Florida. <laughs> yes, I just met this lady a couple of days ago. Hi, Lana. <laughs> and we're planning a trip to Florida. And there's something else I haven't decided if I'm gonna tell you about that happened when I was met Lana and this other person. Um, Lana can probably help me decide. I might tell you about it later, but he, there was a person who wasn't exactly, um, stable. <laughs> so I left there and I'm at Mitri Lake now. And, um, Lana had to leave to go back home for a doctor's appointment. She's part-time and, um, we're going to meet up in Texas. I'm going to go visit my son and then we're going to go to Florida. So I just want to show you a little bit about the nice folks I've been camping with here at Mitri Lake and you'll see Lana in there too. I'm here with my friends Lana and this gentleman whose name I've already forgotten <laughs> and my friend Greg. Tell us your name again Gerald. sir. Gerald Honert. Say it again. Gerald Honert. Now tell us what you were talking about. Well, I'm partly here to enjoy Arizona, but also um, I'm taking participation in a number of meetings with the National Park Service for the newly, uh, it was just signed in by the president last January as a National Historic Trail, the Butterfield Trail, which ran from 1858 to 1861. Yeah, it went uh, through from Missouri down in Arkansas, then Indian Territory, now Oklahoma, then into Texas. Then it came up through New Mexico into Arizona, then looped down for 56 miles through Mexico to get around the sand dunes, and then came in uh, where El Centro is now in California, and then straight north to San Francisco. This was truly the frontier. Yeah, we're putting the first start right now. <laughs> Buddy, he's over there with Alan and Kathy. Right oh, oh. oh, yeah. I didn't see him. But for me, I've been on the road for five months and I'm glad I've had the size I've had. Hey, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to sunsets. We go in, a, yeah, we're going to see the sunset. It's like a real thing. Hello, oh, I'm with yes, my new right. friends here at Mitri Lake. It's so beautiful here. This is the, uh, my new friend, Lana, oh, no, and I see a, I, had to, I met this really cool chick just a couple of days ago and we're planning a trip to Florida and she's, she has to leave me today and go back home for a little while, but then she's going to come back to me. She promised she would come back to me. Yes. We go into Florida together. Yes. And, uh. 
I'm just gonna cry right now. I know. <laughs> You know, it's funny all, I'm actually, there's actually these really cool people here and they're having a fire right now, but I'm just so tired. I mean, I've been, I'm used to being alone a lot. And I was at Van Aid for like two weeks and that was right after I got off, right after I got over COVID. And then I had that situation with that person and I met Lana and now I'm here and everyone's awesome and believe me, there are nights when I will probably look back in the future and say, oh my God, Phyllis, why did you not go out to that fire? Those people are awesome. Yeah, you know, I was gonna spend the evening inside. I um, made dinner and I actually haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> I was thinking about all the nice folks out at the fire, so once my food was pretty much done, I turned the stove off and I went out to the fire. And um, one of the ladies has a, I'm gonna say it wrong. It's a ukulele and a guitar combined. I'm not gonna try to say it. But she played and she plays so beautifully and she was kind enough to let me kind of halfway half sing harmony. And I had such a good time. It's actually 10 o'clock, which is, like way past my bedtime and way past most nomads bedtime. I usually go to bed around 8.30, but I'm heating up my dinner right now. And I gotta tell you, it was totally worth like the not doing what I planned to do and coming in late and reheating my food. If there's an experience that you're enjoying, you should grab hold of it and do it. I was, taking a walk one time with my son years and years ago and we were hiking in um, a river, a riverbed sort of, it was a maybe a creek and he saw a dead fish and he said, mom, can I pick that up? And I said, of course you need to pick up that dead fish because it was an experience and especially for him because he's not He's not the kind of outside person that I am. And the fact that he was curious about it and wanted to touch it, I think was wonderful. So, um, you know what? Life is short. Pick up the dead fish. This is my friend, my dog. This is my friend Greg. I'm really sad that he's leaving today. This We've had my, a good time, right? We have. This is my friend Phyllis. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, uh, had a good three days. It's yeah. been so great. Right. Different place, different time, maybe different. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't actually happen like that often. It doesn't. It no. really doesn't. No, this and is music special, and. This is a, truth, this is a, a, a unique group. Really? Yeah. We all listened and we all talked. Yeah. I didn't even take the pot seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Greg tried a, a new thing that he hadn't tried before. Yes. And um, it didn't have any effect on him whatsoever, None which was whatsoever. interesting. Our winds and following seas. Perfect. Thank you. My backup alarm says there's something behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope so. <laughs> Buddy, that's not your house. That's right.
Look at this, y'all. I was pulling out of the campground this morning. I'd already said goodbye to everyone. And Alan called me over as I was driving out. And he handed me this stick. I asked him what it was. He said it was a stick from last night's fire. I almost started crying. What a beautiful, beautiful thought. He was giving me a little piece of the group when he gave me that. How sweet is that? Feeling kind of sad right now. It's the uh, end of a beautiful time there at Mitchie Lake with all those just amazing people. I really only plan to stay there, I think, one night, and I've been there, I think, a week. And I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving this area. I got to Quartzsite. Uh, I think the day after Christmas. And it's almost March. I'm gonna slowly be making my way towards Texas to visit my son. And I'll meet up with Lana there. Lana there. And I feel a little funny right now. I've been in and around Quartzsite since a few days after Christmas. And it's almost March. And I'm not just leaving that wonderful place where I just was, but I'm leaving, kind of leaving the Southwest. I'm headed to Texas. Gonna visit my son and then to Florida. And, uh, you know, Quartzsite is set up for nomads. It's easy to find places to camp there. It's easy to find water and a laundromat. And if you have an RV, there's uh, dump stations. And it's not just that convenience, but there are more nomads in Quartzsite than like regular people. So I'm normal there and that's kind of a big deal. And generally in the Southwest, it's so easy to find places to camp. It's not that way everywhere, y'all. And it's not that way in Texas. And um, I've heard it's not that way in Florida. I'm nervous about going that far and then crossing Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama. So I'm gonna have to search harder for places to go. And Florida's a long way from here and my comfort zone has been um, the Southwest and Texas. So I'm about to go on a brand new adventure. I'm excited about it, a little bit nervous, and I hope it really goes well with my new friend, Lana. I think it will, but you know, you just never know. But by the way, we did talk about like our traveling styles and what we expect from each other and kind of work out differences, which I, I think will help. I hope it will. 
and um, she's not, she's a part-time nomad right now, like really part-time. So then there's a thing of, um, I'm the experienced nomad, so it's not a burden, but there's another kind of responsibility that I feel like I have. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I mean, traveling through states I haven't traveled through before as a nomad. I've been to all those states in my previous normal life, but not as a nomad. So um, it's going to be a challenge. And to make sure that I do it right for Miss Lana, which by the way, I know Lana's gonna see this. It's not a bad thing, I'm super excited. It's just something I'm thinking about. And I can't wait. It's gonna be maybe like the biggest adventure since, since starting on the road is traveling through states I've never been through before as a nomad and going to Florida and traveling with another person, which has been, as y'all know, what I've been looking for since the beginning. Like, you know what I always say, hello, my tribe. Well, I might be starting the beginning of my tribe and I'm super excited about that.